Hello, today I'm doing a review on the Flexible Detangling Brush. So this is the very tangled and dry before photo. And here I'm going to show you my process for detangling in the shower using the Flexible Detangling Brush. First, I start by finger detangling and removing as much shed hair as I can before I start brushing. So I started with pre-pooed hair using Kiwi Lime V05 Clarifying Conditioner and generous amounts of coconut oil. Brushing directly under the shower stream, I start at the ends of my hair and work my way up to the root. Periodically, I remove the shed hair as I go to prevent snagging and ripping. This brush works effectively to detangle my hair while also kind of babying my strands. It's very gentle. And that's it. Stay tuned for my full review. Hello Seattle Naturals, it's Dreamy Payne and today I'm going to review this brush. You've probably seen it on, you know, YouTube, IG, I don't know yet. Um, I don't know the official name. I got this off of um, Amazon. I will admit it was an impulse buy. <laughs> uh, had I been thinking, I would have ordered it online from one of the online um, beauty supply shops. They are black owned. There are several in the Seattle Naturals um, Facebook group, so look them up. One of them being Pure Touch Beauty. Um, I'm sorry. Anyway, there's a few, and I will post the links below. Um, so check there. I don't know if they have these. Um, if any of you guys are watching, get these. <laughs> um, but yeah, check with them first. Otherwise, I got it off Amazon. I don't know if they're selling these like in you know brick and mortar stores yet. I haven't really seen them. Um, anyway, I love this brush. This is my ultimate uh, tangler from now on. I want to immediately get another one. Like, you know, when you find something that you like, you try it and you love it so much that you're like, I need a backup because if I ever lose this, like, my life will just be less without it, you know? That's how I feel about this brush. Uh, I, as you guys probably know, all 12 of you that watch my videos, thank you. Uh, I am very tender headed, so this, um, due to the the like bristles kind of being loose like this, um, there's very little tension on the scalp. So this uh, that makes this like I believe an excellent brush for people with children trying to detangle their hair. Um, you'll want to get this. This this was really good. Um, you don't need a lot of muscle to do it. You could take a section and, you know, just kind of brush through that section, starting from the bottom. And I would say with my hair being, I have thick hair, I have long, thick, dense, um, 3, 3C, 4AB hair. Um, and this was able to, like, I would say by the third, fourth stroke, I was complete, it was better. It was like butter. Um, so I don't want this video to run too long. I'm going to do a live demonstration. Um, so I washed my hair, co-washed my hair today. I pre-pooed um, before I got in the shower to kind of soften my hair and loosen up the tangles. 
Um, I spritzed it with water. I added a, a clarifying conditioner, VL5, um, Kiwi Lime clarifying conditioner, and then I added like a generous, generous amount of coconut oil. Um, my scalp has been dry lately with the change of the weather, so I, you know, made sure to give my scalp some attention. That's another good thing about this brush. The bristles are a little bit longer than what you'll find on like the Tangle Teaser. Um, so I'm able to get my scalp. Um, the Tangle Teaser brush bristles are short, so I was never able to get my scalp. Um, this, you can get your scalp, good for exfoliating. It's this, the uh, bristles are rounded so they don't scratch your scalp. It's, you know, kind of narrow. So holding it, especially considering that I detangle in the shower, um, holding it was not a problem like you find with the Tangle Teaser. It's kind of shaped kind of funny. And when you have water and conditioner all over your hands, it's like flying. <laughs> I didn't have that issue with this um, brush. Excuse me or something in my eye. Um, I didn't have that is uh, the issue with that brush. As you saw, it took me about five minutes to d completely detangle. You, you saw that first picture. My hair was a mess. Um, to completely detangle, and it probably would have been less had I... I was trying to stay visible, <laughs> and so my hair wasn't all the way in the shower stream, which is typically how I detangle. So if my head was all the way in the, the shower stream, it would have been even less time to detangle. So I just want to um, take a section so you guys can see um, how the brush works. One second here. Um, so yeah, I found it. It was about twelve dollars. Um, and so my hair was, you know, like I detangled it in the shower. So I just want you guys to see how the brush you know moves through my hair and even though it's detangled um you know with curly hair it's still wet it's still pretty wet with curly hair as you guys know it it springs back on itself and can retangle itself which you know can make detangling like a nightmare okay you barely see any hair in there I don't feel any pulling, I don't feel any snagging, it doesn't sound, you know, some tools you use and it sounds like it's ripping your hair. <laughs> I don't get that. Um, it's just like butter, like you guys, you need this brush. Um, anyway, does anybody have this brush? Let me know how you like it. If you get it, tag us, Seattle Naturals, let me know how you like it. And uh, I'll be coming back soon. I haven't really been making any videos, um, but I have so much stuff that I want to share with you guys. So I'm probably just going to do a whole favorite things video. <laughs> okay, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, hit the like, the subscribe, the share if you like. And I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.